everyone, it's Missy and I'm doing an unboxing video today. This is a jewelry armoire I purchased from Wayfair.com. If you're interested in viewing the listing for yourself, I'll have it linked in the description below. This was one of their Black Friday sale deals and I've always wanted one, so why not? Um, the box came in very decent time. I think it was here within two days, which was awesome. There was a little nick on the side that you can see right there, but for the most part the box came undamaged. I did already slit the box open so I can just pull it off and then we can see what it looks like for the contents inside. And there we are. So as you can see it's packaged fairly well. All the pieces are in their own individual um, boxes and there's plenty of styrofoam so that way things don't move around too much. I have actually purchased a electric fireplace off of Wayfair previously and it was in the same um, well packaged condition. On top you can see that we have the instructions for putting the armoire together from the customer reviews I have read. There isn't too many pieces. If you can see it's basically attaching the legs and attaching the top with the mirror and it looks like that is it so not too much for assembly which is always a good thing but still a little assembly is always involved okay so after I remove the legs I'm actually going to remove the main Part. Let's see. The hardware fell out right here. So I put in this little red packaging hardware. So that's all the hardware that you need. On the side here, this would be the top of the unit. Now you can get an idea of the color. So it kind of has a little bit of a reddish tone to it. Um, I can't remember what the original color said it was supposed to be. But it's, it's actually prettier than what the picture showed, which I'm pleased about for the wood color, and somebody else had mentioned that it was also prettier than what they thought it was going to be. Okay, so here we have the mirror. It says, do not put extreme pressure on glass when removing tape. The mirror looks like it's all in one piece, which is a good thing. I'm try to take this off carefully. So yes, it's all in one piece. It looks really good. I think it's actually supposed to go on this way. No cracks or breaks. I, so far I don't see any chips. I, the nail holes, the screw holes are on this part. But that looks really good. The finish looks really good. It's supposed to stand up like this. Yes. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow the instructions and put this together. Pretty much it's said to lay it on its back. You insert the legs in here. The screw holes are on the sides. And um, I don't know if I have to have any tools. I probably will. Just looking here quickly. I'll need to have... Uh, looks like a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. It looks like they take both. And uh, so put it together and then I'll, sh I'll tell you guys what I think of it once I have it together. To kind of give you an idea of how easy it is to put this together, all you're doing is you're taking the leg. I'm taking number four, or the one that goes in the back. And you just place it up against the corner. And then you just take a bolt and you put the washer through. 
and all I'm doing is just inserting it through the hole and you can just um, feel it and then start finger tightening it in so it holds in place. And then grab another one, stick it through the bottom hole. And once you get it so that way you don't have to hang on to it, you can tighten it with a screwdriver. Now this is the problem that I've been finding is that the screwdriver of mine doesn't exactly fit in here too well to get them tightened, but it still works. It's just a small space to work in. And there you have it. It's actually very, very sturdy once you get it on. So I'm just going to get the last leg on and then move on to the top. Okay, so now we're ready to install the cover on the top. They told me to install these um, rubber stoppers, but they already came on the unit, so I don't have to really worry about that part. So the next step is I'm just going to place the top on, and we're lining up the holes with the holes on the hinges. And then we just take the smallest screws, I'm going to probably do the middle one first. The holes are already pre-drilled, so all we have to do is screw it in, making sure to keep the screw as straight as possible. Now I'll get the other two in before I tighten them up. And that's pretty much what it looks like when it's done. It was very, very quick and easy to put together. The only thing that I didn't do on the instructions was this strap. You can actually attach this to the wall so it doesn't fall forward. And then you would do that with these two hardware pieces. But I'm not going to attach it to the wall so I'm just going to leave this laying in the back. Um, when you open up the top, you have where you can put your rings. I also put a pin in here so that way you can see you can also lay pins. Um, so this is actually really nice. Try to give you an idea of the dimensions. It is four inches by about six inches. And that would be the same for this back box as well. You could probably put in here some bracelets um, let's see here, I have some bangles I can put in there, and they fit in there perfectly. The ones up front kind of have an odd shape to them. I could fit my bangles in the one side. Um, they would also be six inches long, but instead of four inches deep, you're going to about two and a half inches on this side. So bracelets would still fit reasonably well in here. The mirror itself is 8 inches by 6 inches. So it's a very, very nice size mirror. 
Over on the sides, you have where you can hang up the longer necklaces. This necklace is very, very long, so I doubled up on it. You still have the rope here to kind of hold everything in when you're opening and shutting the door, which is nice. However, I wish that this piece was higher in the box because then it would allow for longer necklaces to be hung. And honestly, I don't know why they kept all that space up on top there. So about the longest necklace you can put in here would be 11 inches in length from the top of the highest hook all the way to the very bottom. As you can see, everything is black velvet inlay, which makes it really nice. And then it's just a magnet closure, which is kind of nice as well. Same as over here, you have the exact same length that you're dealing with for necklaces. The necklace that I have hanging there is about little over 10 inches in length and that has um, it's hanging on the lower hook but it hangs in there very nice over here on the top drawer you can see that we have um, some different boxes that you can put your items in the last two boxes in the back are very hard to get to because of the stoppers I don't know what you would fit in there that you could easily grab. Um, you can take the drawer out, but that kind of defeats the purpose of having those two boxes back there. But Just having it out like this, you pretty much have the four boxes you can actually put stuff in. My bangles do not fit in there, so it would be some smaller bracelets or maybe some earrings can be put in there. The next drawer is just a wide open drawer. It's the same height as the one on top. And just to give you an idea of depth in the drawer, you have about one and a half inches. The last two drawers are deeper and are just one giant drawer again. These are two and a half inch deep drawers. I kind of would have liked to have seen more dividers to keep my jewelry separated. The reason why I got this jewelry armoire was so that way I didn't have all my jewelry tangled up in one big spot. And as you can see in the final drawer, it's also just a big drawer. So, But you could definitely, if you had smaller jewelry boxes, put them in here. I have a little jewelry box. I'm going to see if it will fit. Oh yep, that fits perfectly. Just sliding it in and out. It's um, one of these precious moments um, treasure chest boxes. So that would be actually kind of nice to put that in there as well. Um, and then with the felt, it doesn't slide around, which is actually really nice too. So overall, I am pleased with the jewelry box. I like the color. I also like the functionality of it. There are some improvements that could have been made, um, but for the most part, for the price that I bought it for on Black Friday, I'm fairly satisfied. But if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!